preference of, uh, of obstetric fistula in the country is very difficult to, to estimate. Eh? But uh, an estimate is uh, for every 10 homes, there could be one case of fistula. One case either from uh, obstetric care, labor, obstetric labor, or from cancer, or from congenital. For every 10 homes, there is one somehow fistula. The not lift, there is a quite a high cases there, workload. And then uh, we go down to Nyansa, CI very high again because of early marriage, early delivery, home delivery. And then Migori very high, Transmara. Those are some of the areas that we see high numbers of patients coming. When a doctor goes to operate a patient, for example, to remove the uterus due to cancer, fibroids, uh, even cesarean section, uh, in adventure, the, the bladder can be damaged or the kidney tubes that bring urine out called ureters can be damaged and the patient can have fistula during surgery. Cancer of the cervix can also cause fistula. Radiotherapy for cancer can cause fistula. Sexual assault, rape. There are so many girls who come here uh, from different parts of the country post-rape uh, who have uh, fistula, sexual assault. They also cases of uh, accidents, they also have fistula. And also there are those ones who are born, uh, girls who are born with uh, congenital or they are born with a uh, uh, fistula. So we have those kind of uh, patients which we also deal with here. Yes, the majority is for obstructed labor, but another percentage, maybe 15%, is actually from sexual assault, cancer, radiotherapy, surgery from the doctors, uh, a mistake in the surgery and also maybe accidents also. My advice to mothers to have an early clinic attendance to a recognized government facility or a private facility so that she can be able to be checked mapema and uh, all the problems are checked in time, noted in time and then prevented so that uh, safe maternity and delivery is actually given to this patient.